Watch it. Oh! Watch it. Oh, oh, oh. We got one of our guys. It must I would like to congratulate movie. you. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do you do it from the Jimmy? Do you do it for live from the Jimmy Milligan? No, I'm ready. Be careful now, you got food in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold up here. We're going to the media center for our number one qualifier, Clay Milliken, and top fuel is 3.758 at 331.12 mile an hour pass from last night. Stood up uh, for his um, number one qualifying position. Clay, talk about when you have that home run like you were talking about last night. You know, what were you guys working on uh, this afternoon out here? Well, I told y'all last night that I thought it would stay, but typical Atlanta, the weather changed. Uh, and we went up first qualifier today, you know, made a nice solid run, and Brittany was knocking on the door of taking that number one spot away. And we just kind of went up on the last run, and I told y'all we just want to go down the racetrack. We made a decision, and Grubby's really awesome about that. He has final decision, but as a group, we kind of got together, and he's like, I feel like we need to defend. That's what he called it. We need to defend. And so we were pushing. But he wasn't pushing to go 75 again. He was pushing to go quicker than that. And got very close to making it. He really, really did. I mean, it got real close to being able to make that down the racetrack. Uh, we were ahead of Brittany. She made a great run, 76-0. I mean, she was just right there. But uh, we, we, we held in there and, you know, got the green hat. I messed that up last night. <laughs> Looking for that yellow one tomorrow, for sure. So you got everything out of today that you were hoping to get? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you know, the car was very, I guess you could say tunable was the correct thing, but controllable. Okay. Because that's been the issue with the car is it's, it's kind of, it wants to go fast all the time. And so we've been trying to figure out how to slow it down so it was controllable today. And, and I bragged about it. It kind of started in Charlotte that we were, we, I have nothing to do with it. Grubby is really starting to get a handle on it. Uh, kept the thing basically down the racetrack every run. Like I say, the last run we for sure were pushing and wasn't really surprised it got loose. But had it made it, everybody would have been like, wow, you know, and that's kind of what we were doing. We were pushing. But it was it was a good day. Good day. Looking very much forward to tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I uh, hate to swap gears, but certainly thinking about you know, what happened earlier today. Uh, top sportsman cars. Um, and, you know, we all know what can happen and NHRA has more, I don't know what the number is, 200 mile an hour runs by more individuals than any sport in the world and you know we kind of get used to these things just going on the racetrack and you know so I'm certainly thinking about the families that were involved in that today. I mean that's, that's part of what we do but man you just hate to, hate to see anything like that happen. I want to know about the dog. <laughs> the dog is certainly become the uh, run of the house. His name's Iggy, I-G-G-Y, like Iggy Pop. But that's not really, it's really a rap song, I-G-G-Y. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I can't sing, I can't rap either. <laughs> but he is a miniature bull terrier. He's almost full size, we hope, because we're getting old, we don't want to be picking a 70 something pound dog up like we had in the past. But he is the most only gas animal I have ever seen in my life. His, uh, he has his own Instagram account and he's become a little rock star out here. And the shirts that we sell, actually we have a caricature of him on, on our shirts and we give all the money to charity. It goes to an organization called Paws and Claws. And what they do is uh, go to shelters and dogs that are about to be euthanized. And this group finds homes for those dogs. And, we're very partial to animals, that's for sure. <laughs> Is it safe to say that he can run a thousand feet faster than you can? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> he can drag me a thousand feet. There's no question about it. He is a handful. You would think that he stays over in Britney's pit all the time or whatever, drinking 
energy drinks nonstop because he doesn't quit. <laughs> He's actually being pretty good right now. Here comes the biting. Hey, Claire, is it encouraging that uh, now that we're starting to get into the hot weather part of the season, but is it now you guys seem to have figured out that that tune-up that will allow you or to rob Ryan the other guy? Absolutely. Um, it's starting to look like Ruby's really got a handle on you know, something besides the home run session. Uh, he's making the car go down the racetrack when it's hot out. And that makes me very excited. And, and all the way up here, Whitney and I were just saying that, that Grubby kind of had a little smile on his face even though we smoked the tires. You know, it was, uh, it is definitely a good sign for the, the months that we have in front of us here until we get into that home run weather again. You, you have a championship in a former you know, in, in a different, HRA. right in a, in a different version of racing. How does your crew? <laughs> I cannot believe that. Uh, we just had our first victim in the media center. It's a bit more attention. <laughs> Rate your crew chief right now. Rate is in comparison. He is, and I have said this, and I've said it to him. He and Mike Clover are the two smartest guys I've ever worked with, hands down. Uh, they are very similar in that they think completely different than anyone I've ever been around that runs these cars. They do not see things the way everybody else sees them. They think further through anything they want to do to the car. They research more than anybody I've ever been around. Uh, very similar in that fashion. And so it's, it's you know, it is definitely a, a good way to look at it. Those two guys are very similar. Smart, smart guys. Way smarter than I am, I promise you that. <laughs> I think Izzy might be a little oh, yes. smarter than Yes. <laughs> That's for I'm sure. Here. Okay, perfect. Thanks very much. Thank you guys. Thanks everybody.